Capricorn, welcome to your tarot reading with the tarot room. My name is Robin. Capricorn, today let's do your August 2024 monthly read, darling. Let's see what the Capricorn Collective can, can expect here in the month of August. Let's get ahead of the energies. Well, there's a big change. Change in the wind. All right, all right. Let's see what part of your life is being affected here, Cape. Let's see what's going on. Let's talk about you. All right, where the influence is, is the sixth house. So work, health um and the duty area of your life and then the fifth house so where you have fun romance create things that you are proud of so um well, looks like it's going to be a good change <laughs> um it might affect the place that you work could affect your health um kind of feel like it might affect some love or some relationships here with this fifth house energy the fifth house represents pleasure and enjoyment cap so uh, we got some positive change coming through here for you in the month of august let's get into it and let's talk about it. Spirit guys, what does Capricorn need to be aware of here in the months of August? Hold on, I just realized I'm not centered. Well, the three of swords. Okay, my, that's my, what, that might be what creates the change here. Okay. Um, and what do you want Capricorn to avoid? And Cap, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the link is in the description box below. The sun is what they want you to avoid, eh? <laughs> All right. And what do you want Capricorn to focus on in the month of August? The four of wands. Okay. Um, and what is the biggest obstacle, challenge, or barrier here that, that Cap 8 or shall face here in the upcoming month? It's the biggest the nine of cups. Okay. And the advice for that. Three of cups. All right. What's on the bottom here, Cap 8? And let's get into your reading. We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so let's see what you need to be aware of. There's a little bit of frustration here. Let's talk about it. Uh, I think that's what triggers the change here. It could be this disappointment. It could be bad news. What's the Three of Swords here for Capricorn? What's the Three of Swords? What's Two of Wands? I think that's the Ten of Swords. There is. There's a betrayal to start this month off here, Cap. Ooh, you don't see it coming. The tower is there, and it stresses you out. It just, just stresses you out. It could be from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Quite emotional here. Aries, Leo, Sag. There's the Eight of Pentacles. Um, there's the ending. And there's the Three of Pentacles. Well, you're definitely not working on this anymore. Uh, so there's a betrayal here. There's an ending that puts you in an uncomfortable position where you need to make a decision. Can we talk a little bit more about this betrayal? Who is this person? Um... Who, who, who is this person? <laughs> How is Capricorn going to know? The Two of Swords in reverse. The High Priestess. The Eight of Swords. The Ten of Wands. Could be a Cancer Pisces energy here. They definitely put you between a rock and a hard place. There's you. Could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's definitely a friends or a lover here. The Two of Cups is here. Uh, Cap I was going to say Sagittarius, but that's because the Knight of Wands is here. Cap could be a Sag or an Aries Leo Sag. This is someone who is um, an unreliable friend or an unreliable lover or an unreliable company. It's something that there's a relationship with you here, right? The Two of Cups is here. So I feel a lot of you, it might be a friendship, but I think it might be like a, a, a relationship with work. <laughs> I do get, you know, we have the work here, um, but all, not all of you. Some of you, it's just a friend. It's something that's unreliable. So if it's been work here, maybe you haven't been getting paid the way you want, or maybe there's been false promises or you're not progressing as much as you want. Um, if it's a friendship they're, or a lover, they're just unreliable, hot and cold in and out. They haven't necessarily been a reliable person in your life. But the thing is, it's like your intuition, that high priestess is there. So I want to see, because it's, it's kind of like you might have seen this coming, or, or maybe it's like your intuition was telling you um, that, nah, you know what I feel it was? Yeah, cat. There's a six of pentacles, the knight of swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like your intuition was telling you that it was time for this change. Time for... to. It was like... It was time to let this person or the situation go. And you knew it. You knew that they weren't reliable. Or that this company was a dead-end job and it wasn't going where you want. So part of you knew it. But it's like you didn't want to believe it. And now I feel like you're a little bit mad at yourself. Uh, because you didn't, you know, act quicker. Or you didn't uh, believe your intuition about this person. So... As opposed to a betrayal, I feel like it's more of a frustrating energy. You're mad at yourself. It's like, shit, you know, I knew that this dick boss wasn't going to give me my promotion or recognize me. Or it's like, I knew that my friend here, I knew they weren't, you know, it's like you knew, but you didn't want to admit it. And so I get this energy of being kind of mad at yourself um, because 
you were right, Capricorn, about this person or about this job, about the situation. And they prove you right here in the month of August. And you're a little bit frustrated and mad at yourself. Um, so that's what you know you need to be aware of is you were right. So that person that you kind of, or that, or if it's a job, you know, trust your intuition, but it's that person that you kind of feel something's off. You don't really trust them. You're not really sure, but they haven't really done anything to make you not trust them, right? So you're like, why do I feel this way? That's who this is. Um, and then again, if it's just your job, you just knew that it really, you just knew Capricorn, you knew. And in the month of August, they prove you're right. All right. That's what you need to be aware of. Um, so what's under that nine of swords? Yeah. Ooh. And you're, you're really, I feel like you're mad at yourself. It's like, damn Capricorn. It's like, you're looking in the mirror and you just, you knew it. Okay. That's what you need to be aware of. So what they want you to avoid is the sun. I feel like it's disappointing, mad at yourself, holding on to this for too long. Um, let's understand that a bit better. What you want to say to Cape with the sun energy. Darling. Yeah. Let's get creative. So it's like, yeah, there's the Knight of Pentacles. There's you. So it's an energy of not letting this um, hold you back or get too down on yourself where you don't allow, where it ruins your, it's like where it ruins your day or your week or your month, right? It's kind of that energy of using this as motivation um, to learn and just move forward. They don't want you to continue being disappointed or speaking negatively about yourself or about your, you know, your career. Uh, look at it from a higher point of view. Look at it from a different perspective. Um, so they want you to avoid looking down on yourself, feeling negative about yourself or allowing this um, to paint you in a corner. You always have options. So look at your options and get creative. The page of wands is very excited. He's very passionate or she, um, but she's very creative, has that zest for life, that thinking outside the box, right? So you're at a job. They just told you you're not getting your promotion. All right. That's it. I accept your decision, but you know what? I'm going to get creative here. I'm going to think outside the box. I'm going to do something for me. They want you to avoid sitting there saying, oh man, nothing's ever going to happen. I'm not going to go anywhere in my career. You know, so they want you to avoid that negative thinking and that negative self-talk here, Capricorn, because I feel like you're going to be mad at yourself. You know, um, it's like, it's like they passed you over for the last promotion, but you were really hopeful. And now you're like, you know, I should have known the last time. It's kind of that energy. And I'm, yeah. That's a frustrating energy, but they want you to avoid the negative self-talk. What they want you to focus on is the four of wands. So the things in your life that are going well, the friends and family, the kindred spirits, the things that you want, right? Use this and, and focus on what you want, not what you don't want. I also feel like with the four of wands, it's your friends, it's your family. Um, it's the great things in your life, right? When you're feeling defeated or mad at yourself, you know, sometimes just listening to some music, bumping and grinding with your friends and family or just sitting on the deck, listening to the Jays game, whatever you guys like to do. It's just spend some, friends and, spend some time with some friends and some family and just kind of let go of some of that frustration um, and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Have a little fun, Capricorn, but also focus on what it is that you want um, as you progress towards letting go of that disappointment. Because the biggest obstacle is that getting what you want uh, in the month of August with the nine of cups here. Is there anything else you want to say there to cap or corn? <sighs> yeah. Strength. Ah, there it is. Not letting your fears, worries, anxieties. There's the nine of swords again. So the biggest obstacle is going to be your fears, your worries, your anxieties, um, and your disappointments here. And I feel like it's the disappointment creating that doubt in yourself. Cause it's like, you knew it, but you didn't trust it. And now you're kind of kicking yourself in the ass a little bit. Um, and that's the, that's the challenge. That's the obstacle. And the advice for that is the three of cups. And it's kind of similar to the four of wands energy. And it's just focus on the friends and the family that you do have, you know, to see it as a lesson, as an experience, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, hell to the no, to the hell nah. And if they did fool you twice, that ain't, ain't going to happen again, Capricorn. Um, they want you to, again, focus on your good times, focus on the friends and families, focus on what you want, but be appreciative because they proved you right. So now, you know. Now you got no doubt. Now you're not doubting yourself. Now you know that you were right. You know to trust that feeling. Even if there's no, like I get that feeling, like they didn't do anything initially, but you just had this feeling, right? It's just like, give you the heebie motherfucking jeebies, Capricorn. Um, but you know, you didn't want to believe that. You want to believe the best in everybody. But for some of you, I do feel like it's happened before. Uh, what else do you want to say to this three of cups? Get some better advice there. <laughs> Death celebrate this. Okay. Yeah. Look forward to this transition and this ending instead of being disappointed and sad by this. Yeah. Be, um, look, so again, using it as motivation, but there's the queen of swords, just create a plan of how you want to move forward. Um, so it's, it's being, it's, it's kind of being thankful that this happened so that it can let you move forward now and get yourself out of a situation, whether it's a job, whether it's a friendship or a relationship that wasn't going anywhere for you anyway. Right. 
This was a stepping stone. So celebrate the stepping stone, celebrate the experience and really allow yourself to move forward with a new plan. But again, focus on what you do want, not what you don't want. That would be the advice here for you, Cap eh? in the month of August 2024. Okay, so let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. Um, and we'll get back to the tarot, but I feel um, a huge change. Well, I don't feel it. <laughs> the cards are telling me there's a big change coming here in the month of August, Cat. So what's the spirit animal message to help? Hey, speaking of the Blue Jays, hello, maybe you're a Jays fan out there. <laughs> you are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. Uh, which is exactly what's, uh, this is like the perfect card for the theme of August 2024 for you, baby. All right, what does Capricorn need to surrender to when it comes to this person, this job, this situation? Yeah, excessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma to spirit. Doing so will help to bring clarity and it will even solve the problem. And sometimes when we take our minds off of it, uh, that's sometimes when we get the best solutions, right? Uh, we can remove our own block by just not thinking about it for a little bit. All right, what's the energy oracle message for? Capricorn. Energy oracle message for the Capricorn. Cornucopia. That's what's up. I feel this was an absolute favor. This person, this company, this betrayal was a favor. They did you a favor, Capricorn. Let me tell you something. Because... This is a great card. <laughs> so when one comes out of the deck, the message in the book of always believed that I always will. Let's get your message. But this is uh, wishes fulfilled, darling. An abundant harvest and great blessing are waiting for you. And you may find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you're being, you know that you have done important work and it's going to pay off. The seeds that you have planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in a significant way. So get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now and spirit is applauding all of your effort. In Cafe, the affirmation to repeat is... The universe is abundant. All that I desire comes to me in just the right time and the right way. I am truly blessed. All right. I do feel for many of you this is a career betrayal. Um, so for those of you where it is, we'll get your career advice. It's not all of you, though. But those of you where this is career, this is career advice here for Cap, record. All right. What we got, Cap? Eh? Oh, where'd it go? Education. So you might need to take a class or do some research to find a better position, or you might find yourself writing a book or teaching others. Okay. And on the bottom, we have new life. Yeah, you may get a fresh start or be called to bring in a new perspective to your old job. You also may get a tempting job offer or a new place. All right, all right, all right. Well, Capricorn, let's get to your general spread. So let's talk about uh, this let's, a little bit more. Let's see what else spirit guides want you to know. What else you want to say to Capricorn about the month of August 2024? Let's do a general spread. Yeah, you're going to be happy. We got the sun energy. We got the three of wands. So, you know, like I said, this person's doing you a favor. Okay. All right. The sun, the three of wands. Oh, silence. Not a card came out. All right. Reset. Give us some cards. Wheel of fortune. Cat the world. Capricorn. <laughs> and judgment. We have four major arcanas here. Say what? Success is yours, Cafe. The Ace of Pentacles is a fresh start, a new beginning, and especially in a career reading, it represents a successful new start. I don't even think it takes you very long to find something new. Um, you know, whether this is friendship betrayal or a home betrayal, like whether you're moving homes, moving jobs, changing friend circles, this is, like I said, Capricorn, they did you a favor. You're going to be very happy. You're going to get everything you want. This person, this situation has left your life in the month of August. They leave your life, but we have the wheel of fortune in the world. Oh my gosh. Can we say anything amazing about this combination? This is an abundant and a prosperous new cycle. The devil, uh, these betrayers, these lack of honest people, these people who are not in your corner, 
Goodbye. Adios, motherfucker. You're coming through here with the snake of transformation. So the Wheel of Fortune in the world represents a definitely a, a brand new cycle. This is the happiest card in the deck, Capricorn, but this is the biggest success wreath. And when we combine that with the Wheel of For Fortune, this is fortune. <laughs> this is success. This is an abundant. This person did you a favor uh, because this is the kick in the ass that you needed in order to see your value or to see that you deserved better in your life, right? Whether it's a relationship, a job, however it's applying to you, they did you a favor. And you've now made the choice to really welcome in this change, welcome in this new cycle. You're not feeling defeated. You're not feeling mad. You're saying to yourself, they did me a favor. I know what I want and I'm going to get it. And in August here, it starts to really fall into place. So you're leaving that behind Capricorn major transition in the month of August and you're going to love it. <laughs> um, so you definitely have an ending. You definitely have a fresh start and a new beginning. You're making the choice to let go of this situation, this person, this job, this relationship, but you're going to get exactly what you want, which is prosperity and a brand new cycle for it yourself. Capricorn no longer. Shall they hold the Capricorn back? You are going to be reaching your full potential. All right, Cap, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down in the month of August 2024 for the Cap A Collective. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading and I do hope it benefited you. Um, and if you like my style and it resonates with you, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. So thank you, Capricorn. Now let's get your final message here to close off your reading today. Here, guys, it's about a message here for Capricorn. Loneliness is the poverty of self and solitude is the richness of self. So today, be the friend to yourself that your heart most desires in another. That's what I have, Cap. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.